from chadwickandamy.com coming to give you the second installment of our straw bale garden video series. Um, this is week three um, since we've actually had the straw bales arrive here, got them set up and began the conditioning process. Um, I'll get into why we're at week three <coughs> at, uh, in just a minute, but um, you can check out the first video on the installment to let you know what process we did follow for the conditioning. Um, we followed that pretty, pretty disciplined for the first two weeks and yet needed one more week to get the bales where, where we were um, satisfied that they were ready for planting. Um, there were three things really that we were looking for during the conditioning process. What we thought was going to take about 11 to 12 days to finish actually ended up getting being closer to 21. Uh, but that's okay. Um, the three things that we were looking for um, beyond just being diligent in adding the nitrogen and keeping the bales soaked was we were looking for the straw bales to their internal temperature to rise and so the bales would be cooking during that conditioning. The second thing that we were looking for would be the growth of grass and or mushrooms and the third thing that we wanted to see was the internal temperature of those bales start to come down. Um, as of this point, about 21 days into the process, we've seen all three of those things. So we're, we're happy, we're satisfied, we're going to be ready to plant very soon. Very excited about that. Um, the first thing we were looking for was the internal temperatures to rise. We had our, <coughs> we had our meat thermometer set up um, and checked it and checked it. We did not see the temperatures of those uh, bales start to rise until about day um, 9 or 10 in the process which based on some of the videos and research we had done seemed a little later um, than what some other people had seen. What we ended up attributing that to was the fact that we, we live in Michigan uh, which our climate zone is, is a bit cooler. We began the process late April um, at which point temperatures outside <coughs> were probably averaging high 50s. Uh, there were a few 60 degree days, 70s and maybe a couple 80 degrees days in there but our nighttime temperatures were consistently dropping down into the 30s and the 40s still so the external temperatures around the bales um, was not really conducive to, to really get that baking going on on the inside so we kind of attributed the, the longer wait that we had to do to see the bales temperature go up to that as you can see we also we did not cover them with any types of plastic or anything we just we stuck to our, our conditioning program and just kept the bale soaked and then let nature kind of run its course with that. But, like I said, about day 10-ish, we started to see those bales temperatures go up. And so that was exciting right there. Um, I was only anticipating that the bales would stay up for maybe three or four days, but the temperatures in those bales really stayed up for about, for over a week. Um, and again, I attribute that to just the climate that we live in, the external temperatures around the bales, Instead of a cooking going on inside the bales, I think maybe we saw a little bit more of a simmering taking place. But nevertheless, we did get to see those temperatures uh, where we wanted them, and they just kind of lasted a little bit longer. The second thing that we were looking for was the growth of grass and or mushrooms. And as you can see, uh, the grass started growing out pretty well. Uh, that was the first indication we saw that uh, things, were, things were turned out pretty well inside the bales. It took a little bit longer to start to see those mushrooms come in, um, but I would say it's been, it was early this week, I think, that we saw our first mushroom. Um, but to give you a, a picture of what that looks like, here's, here's a bale right here that's showing quite a bit of good mushroom growth. Um, and if you're nerding out about this stuff, this is really cool to see. That means that the bales are conditioning well, the nitrogen is working, and that things are conducive to life. All the research that, that we saw and you've probably seen on some other videos or websites were, you know, that you really wanted to, you wanted to see those mushrooms going. And nearly everybody that we've seen is um, um, to the point where they say, when you see the mushrooms, things are about ready to go. Well, we were seeing the mushrooms while the internal temperature of the bales was still a little bit too high to plant. So we held off a few more days. Um, and that was the third thing that we we're looking for was for those temperatures to drop down um, you saw i just stuck my finger in the bale just a second ago and the temperature of the bale is about 
actually it was actually less than the temperature that the outside air is so the outside air is so we've seen now the temperatures go down those were the three things that we were looking for uh, internal temperatures in the bales to increase the growth of grass and or mushrooms and then the temperatures inside the bales to decrease we've seen all three of those things and so now we're, we're happy to say that we're ready to plant uh, and we'll we'll uh, We'll, we'll pull that video in next as we as we show you what we're putting in, how we're putting it in, and uh, so we're really excited about that. So, uh, in the in the section below, you can see the link to the previous video that we made. Um, any any um, uh, posts on our website uh, that are that go a little bit more into the detail of how we're doing, what we're doing, uh, those are all in there. So please uh, like the video, dislike the video, leave a comment, question, criticism. Um, hate if that's what you want to do that's fine too we'll take it um, but come back and we'll show you how this process continues uh, for the rest of the summer we're really excited hope you are too happy gardening